Hello, and welcome to the daily number workout for third grade. We are on the number 35. So let's start off with our word form. 35. And because we have a five in the ones place value, it is an odd number. So any number that has a one, three, five, seven, or nine in this place value is odd. Let's go on to factors. So we have one times 35. The factor pair is one times 35. Two does not go in because it is an odd number. Two only goes into even numbers. Three doesn't go in because we found out that three went into 33 and three more would be 36. So three doesn't go in. Four does not go in because it's odd. Five goes in seven times. So we have five times seven. Six does not go in because six goes into 30 and goes into 36. So we are done because we already are at seven. So that's our factors and factor pairs of 35. Let's go into our addition. So here we go. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So 35 plus one. So you can start stacking them. I know we've been doing them sideways, long ways. Um, you can stack them like I'm doing now. I'm changing it up. So five plus one is six. Three plus nothing is three. 35 plus two. Five plus two is seven. Three plus nothing is three. 35 plus three. Five plus three is eight. Three plus nothing is three. 35 plus four. Five plus four is nine. Three plus nothing is three. 35 plus five. Five plus five is 10. Drop the zero, carry the one. One plus three is four. 35 plus six. Five plus six is 11. Drop the one, carry the one. One plus three is four. 35 plus seven. Five plus seven is 12. Drop the two, carry the one. One plus three is four. 35 plus eight. Five plus eight is 13. Drop the three, carry the one. One plus three is four. 35 plus nine. Five plus nine is 14. Drop the four, carry the one. One plus three is four. And then we have 35 plus 10. Five plus zero is five. Three plus one is four. So there we have it, our addition. So our subtraction, and I'm gonna pop, plop this up here, even though it covers up a little bit. We're gonna start with 45 minus 35. Five minus five is zero. Four minus three is one. 44 minus 35. Five from four cannot do. So we got to borrow from the four leaving three making that 14 minus five is nine. Three minus three is nothing. 43 minus 35. Five from three, we cannot do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 13 minus five is eight. Three minus three is nothing. 42 minus 35. Five from two, cannot do. Borrow from the four, making it three, and making that 12 minus five is seven. Three minus three is nothing. 41 minus 35. Five from one, cannot do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 11. 11 minus five is six. Three minus three, nothing. 40 minus 35. Five from zero, cannot do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 10 minus five is five. Three minus three, nothing. 39 minus 35. Nine minus five is four. Three minus three, nothing. 38 minus 35. Eight minus five is three. Three minus three is nothing. 
37 minus 35. Seven minus five is two, three minus three, nothing. 36 minus 35. Six minus five is one, three minus three, nothing. There we have it. Our addition and our subtraction, let's move on to multiplication. Let me gather up my numbers or my words here. And we're gonna go on to multiplication. All right, multiplication. So you've checked all your work. Let's do 35 times two. We'll start with times two because times one is just 35. So two times five is 10. Drop the zero, carry the one. Two times three is six plus one is seven. 35 times three. And this is great practice here. Three times five is 15, drop the five, carry the one. Three times three is nine plus one is 10. 35 times four. Four times five is 20, drop the zero, carry the two. Four times three is 12 plus two is 14. And look at this, this is twice that. So every other one is gonna be a multiple of seven. 35 times five. Five times five is 25. Drop the five, carry the two. Five times three is 15 plus two is 17. 35 times six. Six times five is 30. Drop the zero, carry the three. Six times three is 18 plus three is 21. Look at there. Seven, 14, 21. Do you see how that pattern we can count on that pattern 35 times seven seven times five is 35 drop the five carry the three seven times three is 21 plus three is 24 35 times eight eight times five is 40 drop the zero carry the four eight times three is 24 plus four Four is 28, and boom, seven, 14, 21, 28, boom. 35 times nine, that is nine thirty-fives. Nine times five is 45, drop the five, carry the four. Nine times three is 27, plus four is 31. And last but not least, 35 times 10, and so we're gonna drop that zero down here to hold that place. One times five is five. One times three is three. So we have 35, 28, 35. So those are all counting by sevens. Pretty simple, nice pattern to check your work with. So let's move on to our measurement. Remember when we're doing measurement right now, we're using fractions to help us work our measurement. So we're gonna do standard form, which is feet, inches, and yards. So we're talking 35 inches today because that's the number of the day. We know it takes 12 inches to make a foot. So we're gonna divide that 35 by 12. And the way we do that is with an addition problem, a fraction addition problem. So we have 12 over 12 plus 12 over 12 plus 11 over 12. And I came up with that because 12 plus 12 is 24. And then it takes 11 more to make 35. So that's how we get it. We want to make sure this adds up to the 35. The denominator stays the same throughout. So this means we have 1, 2, and 11 twelfths. So we have 2 and 11 twelfths of a foot. So 35 inches is equal to two and 11 twelfths of a foot. And then we have 35, 36. So it takes 36 inches to make a yard. We only have 35 out of that 36. So we have 35, 36 of a yard. And that is equal to the ones that I've squared off there. Standard form, let's go on to metric form. This is great practice for remembering how many feet and yards or how many inches it takes to make a foot in a yard. Now we're gonna do how many centimeters does it take to make a decimeter and a meter. 
So we have 35 centimeters, because that's the number of the day. And we know it takes 10 centimeters to make a decimeter. So I'm going to write that down. So how many tens can we get out of 35? Well, we know we can get three, because three tens make 30. And then we still have five, because we got to incorporate all of our centimeters. So 10, 20, 35 means we have one, two, three whole. Remember, our whole number has to be as big as a fraction and five tenths. So three and five tenths decimeter. All right. And this is because it has a whole number and a fraction. It is a mixed number. So you can write that down on your paper to remember mixed number. And our fraction here, 35 over 10, because of the numerator, the top number is bigger than the denominator, the bottom number. This is called an improper fraction. So write that on your paper. It's just good to know. And now we're gonna move on to meters. It takes 100 centimeters to make a meter. So we only have 35 out of the 100. So we have 35 hundredths of a meter. And we are done for today with the number 35. You have a great day.